Mr. Chairman, yes, there's a strike everything amendment to House Bill 2039. Happy to explain. Yes. The strike everything amendment in the chair's name dated March 24th, 2022 at 1036 a.m. establishes the Arizona Health Innovation Trust Fund administered by the state treasurer and appropriates $100,000 from the state general fund in FY23 to that fund. The bill requires the state treasurer to annually allocate 4% of the fund monies to a qualified 501c3 charitable organization to provide uh, education, mentoring, and support to people in the health, innovation, and health care delivery sectors in Arizona and outlines reporting requirements and exempts the preparation from lapsing. That happy to answer any questions. Any questions for Leo? All right, Mr. Kaiser. No. Uh, so, Mr. Chairman, Move Mr. Doran is here, and we also have one other speaker. Maybe we can go that route. Yes. Uh, Mr. Doran, do you have a order that you want to go in? All right. Uh, Joan, wel oh, Tom, welcome to uh, Senate Appropriations. <laughs> Please introduce yourself. Tell us who you're representing. And you have um, two minutes. Thank you, Mr. Minute Chairman, members of the committee. Uh, Tom Dorn on behalf of the Arizona Bio Industry Association and Joan Corber Walker, the president and CEO of the Arizona Bio Industry Association, is also here. Uh, quickly, and I uh, just wanted to let you know that this thank you, Mr. Chairman, for bringing this uh, striker. Uh, uh, Miss Udall is not here, but that's okay. Um, she was kind to allow us to use this bill. I, I just want you to know on my sheet here it says Kaiser. <laughs> so that's why I yeah. had it planned out that way. Well, I hope people that's two, supported it. Two mistakes <laughs> already. I'm, I'm looking at Liam right now. Just, oh, okay. Look. And, uh, well, Mr. Chairman, <laughs> members of the committee, uh, this bill, as, as Liam indicated, simply sets forth the statutory structure for the Arizona Health Innovation Trust. Uh, it is an endowment that will every f uh, year spin off uh, the uh, interest as we have with the state land trust, very similar. And uh, it will grow over time and help support the biosciences and the startups of biosciences in our state, uh, the companies that help seconds, keep them please. in Arizona. I'd be happy to answer any questions and defer to uh, Ms. Cobra Walker for any, any questions? specifics. Yes, Senator, no. So, Mr. Chairman, actually, if, if Representative Kaiser's name's on it, but it has a better chance of uh, passing. <laughs> Senator Borelli. Ouch. Ouch. Thank you. Thank you for that. Um, any uh, any real questions? Okay. Thank you, Mr. Mr. Chairman. Vice Thank you, Chair. members. Joan, uh, you're next up. Uh, welcome to Senate Appropriations. Please introduce yourself. Tell us who you're representing. You have a minute and a half. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, members of the committee. My name is Joan Kerber Walker. I am testifying as a private individual. I am the CEO of the Arizona Bio Industry Association and also the volunteer chairman of the Opportunity Through Entrepreneurship Foundation who has worked with the state treasurer on this trust. Um, as we look at Arizona over the last 20 years, we've invested over $23 billion to build up our bioscience sector at our universities and in our hospitals. This will establish a trust that will allow us to now take those discoveries develop them and get them to patients over the course of generations. It is based on a model, the Wellcome Trust in the United Kingdom, which started out at 46 million pounds and today has grown to over 38 billion pounds. It will allow Arizona to become a top 10 bioscience state. It will support workforce development and it will support 30 seconds, innovations. Please. Thank you for your consideration. I'm happy to answer any questions. Any questions? It completes our speaker list. All right. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Mr. Vice Chair. Mr. Chairman, I move that House Bill 2039 be returned with a due pass recommendation. Mr. Chairman, I move the Gowan Strike Everything Amendment to HB 2039 dated March 24, 2022 at 1036 a.m. be adopted. All right, members. You heard that motion. Those in favor vote aye. Aye. Those opposed nay. Appears the ayes have to have so order. Mr. Vice Chair. Mr. Chairman, I move that House Bill 2039 as amended be returned with the due pass right. Members heard that motion. Madam Secretary. Senator Alston. Aye. Senator Burley. Aye. Senator Burley. Aye. Senator Kerr. Aye. Senator Livingston. Aye. Senator Tondo. Aye. Senator Tron. Aye. Senator Townsend. Aye. Senator Lee. Aye. Senator Gowan. Aye. 
Ten eyes, zero nays, zero not voting. Members, ten eyes, zero nays, zero not voting. You've given House Bill 2039 as amended a due pass recommendation.